Welcome back guys, we are continuing on with these Mecha Bellum 1v1 replays and we have another unique battle up next. I decided to try and main with crawlers, which is never really advisable because you don't really want to be spending too much points on crawlers. So it looks like I'm the red team again, so we're going to have to go in the shade. So I start off with crawler steel ball and aerial specialist he is starting off with storm callers crawlers and cost control so because he's going for storm callers i need to keep my steel balls away from the crawlers so they don't get collateral damage he's putting his stormies very far forward so he's obviously not expecting me to bomb rush him with a load of crawlers So obviously his first volley of storm callers doesn't do anything. His second volley didn't exactly do much either. So we've managed to carve all the way through to his towers very, very easily. So a nice easy round one. So really, yeah, I was about to say really, I should take subsidised crawler here with me wanting to main with crawlers, which is what I went for. He went for shield device specialist. So I've gone for replicate with the crawlers. Not sure whether that's the best first tech. I usually go for Subterranean Blitz to survive the arc light shots originally. But we have got a lot of crawlers out, so Replicate has got a lot of opportunity to come off. Let's see how they get on. Interesting, so level 2 crawlers don't die to level 1 arc lights in one shot. That's good to know. So we've managed to get through to the tower. We didn't quite manage to take the shield out, unfortunately. Taken out this tower as well, and we are in the back lines, and that's quite a nice easy round two as well. So obviously this is very easy to counter this strategy, you just need a Vulcan, which is why I don't recommend spending too much cash on crawlers, but I just wanted to main with them. It's very rare that I main with crawlers, so... Just wanted to do it. And he's brought in a couple more arc lights. Uh, I'm not really sure what I've spent my cash on. <laughs> Was it just subterranean blitz? Is that all I've spent my cash on? And I've even had to burn supply to do it. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Looks like I'm really going all out on these crawlers. Ah, I have brought a couple of arc lights in. There we go. So the arc lights are really there just to distract and pull some troops away from the towers. And this turn they're not going to do anything, but next turn they will get a few kills off. Now he has gone for 
increased damage on his Mustangs, which is a pretty interesting decision. It's going to work out well for him here, because he's facing Arc Lights, but it's not going to do much for him in terms of killing the Crawlers. So we've made it through to both towers. The arc, uh, the arc lights. The crawlers are replicating. Getting lots and lots of kills in. Creating lots more crawlers. So a nice round three as well. So no doubt there will be a Vulcan coming very soon. So he skipped. I've skipped. And there is the inevitable Vulcan. So let's see what I decide to do. What am I going to pivot to? So I have got Aerial Specialist, so I can quite easily pivot to Overlords or Phoenixes, both of which are an excellent counter to the Vulcan. And I decide to go for the Overlord. Now obviously I don't know where his Vulcan is at the moment, but I know it's coming, so I put the Overlord close to the highest level crawler, because that's where you would expect them to put the Vulcan. Looks like I'm bringing in some crawlers over here to protect the arc lights. So that's going to help delay them for a long time. Give the Overlord a lot of time to get in and try and deal with this Vulcan. We've taken out a tower. That's fantastic. Vulcan is down. So we haven't got much left. We've only really got an Overlord left. So we are going to lose this round. But we are starting to set up our second phase, pivoting away from the crawlers and into overlords and potentially phoenixes. So I get an item to put on the overlord, so it increases the attack damage. That will help churn through shields and Vulcans a lot quicker. So we're shielding up again. I've gone for the Overlord Artillery and bringing in another Overlord for the left hand side. Because I am obviously assuming he's going to get another Vulcan here. He's bringing in a rocket to deal with this flank. Which is fine by me. That's another 50 that he's spending on rockets. And we have taken the tower out. Can he take the tower out? Beautiful. Just in time before the snipers hit. So he did die, but he managed to take out the tower and one of the snipers. 
So let's see if we can take this sniper out. Lovely. And we have won round five. So this pivot into the overlords is working really well. Let's see what he decides to take. I go for top supply specialist, which I wouldn't recommend doing. <laughs> the only reason I've gone for it is because I've got so much HP left, but I definitely wouldn't recommend taking that. So he decided to go for Giant Hunter. Again, I wouldn't really recommend taking that either. So I've put Phoenixes in front of the flanks. So if he tries to rocket me, it'll only hit the Phoenixes and the ground troops will remain alive. So he still hasn't gone for a flank, even though they're wide open. Not sure what the delay is. But he didn't go for rockets. That's interesting. So unfortunately all the crawlers are just melting to the Vulcans, but we have got overlords which are slaughtering the Vulcans, so I would trade Vulcans for crawlers any day. Let's see if we can take out this tower. Shoot the tower! So his crawlers are coming to this tower, but we have dealt with virtually everything that he's got. So we just need to shoot this sniper. Yep, very nice. So that is round six to me. Overlords don't really care about the nerf that they receive from having the towers destroyed because they do that much overkill anyway. Doesn't really make too much difference to them. So he's gone for orbital bombardment. That's an interesting choice. And I've gone for extended range Phoenix, so it looks like I'm about to pivot into Phoenix. I've already got the Phoenixes out on the flanks, so I've gone for the Quantum Reassembly. So when these die, they are going to respawn in the back, where I'm about to build three more level 2 Phoenixes. So we're making another pivot. So we started off with a crawler main, we pivoted to overlords, and now we're pivoting to phoenixes. So let's have a look at his sniper. He hasn't... Oh, he has got EMP. So he has got EMP that he can put on his snipers, but even if he did, it's not that big a deal. We're just trading one tech for another. So he's resorted to using rockets again. Okay, 
Okay, so things aren't looking too great for us here. So it looks like we are going to have to make another pivot. So the good thing was we took out the Vulcan, so that's 400 less damage we're going to receive. We've got quite a lot of health remaining, so we've got plenty of time to make another pivot. And we decide that we want to pivot into Rage Rhinos. Rhinos are incredibly good frontline unit against Vulcans and he has not really got much in the way of stopping power to deal with Rhinos so Rhinos is a very decent pivot so we've got the photon coating we've got three level 2 Rhinos with photon coating and they're Rage Rhinos as well so they're going to be doing more and more damage the longer they survive so this should hopefully work out quite well. So once again, he's bringing in more rockets. He still hasn't gone for the EMP blast on his snipers. So the quantum relay is still going to work. So we're going to mobile beacon our way through, see if we can take out a tower. So the flanks did a great job at exposing the towers. We've made our way through. Rhinos are building up their rage, doing more and more damage. And we have got virtually our entire army still alive. So a couple of really good pivots there. Made it really challenging for the enemy to deal with. And the crawlers are still alive. So even though he built Vulcans to deal with the crawlers, four of them, they still managed to survive and make a difference even on the very final round. So yeah, a very interesting strategy. It's uh, definitely different. I never main with crawlers. So it made, made a nice change going for a different strategy. And bringing in the rhinos on the final round is always a, a nice pivot because they obviously haven't got their defences set up for Rhinos and if you start off with a crawler main then you're almost guaranteed to be facing things like Vulcans which are bad against Rhinos so crawl it into Rhino, crawl it into late Rhino I should say is a very good pivot and also crawl it into Flyers is also a really good pivot and obviously the things that are good against Flyers, like the Mustangs, are not really good against Rhinos either. So Crawler, Flyer, Rhino is a really, really nice combination. I don't know if it would work against lots of different comps, but it definitely seems to have worked really well there. So I look forward to retrying that again. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Join me again in the next one, and we'll see what that one holds. So cheers for watching, take care, and I shall see you soon.